There's so many things that go into opening a school and doing it right. Building 21 is a way for high school students to find their passion and to move forward in life learning how to learn and how to take their rightful place in the world. We started with a really simple premise. If you could design a school to better serve all learners in this country, how would you do it? The space at Building 21 is going to be designed to really bear out the philosophy of the school. You know, as we walk through the building, it's a combination of sort of seeing things that need to be cleaned up and fixed and addressed, but what's really exciting is sort of seeing the opportunities that space has. You know, there's a saying in the EDLD program, which is you can't transform the sector until you transform yourself. The way that we worked through that process in the EDLD program is something that Chip and I have been able to bring to our team and to the school. Their work is really designed around um, a real problem that a real district is trying to solve. That in and of itself provides for unique opportunities for individuals in the EDLD program in Auburn. It's so shaped who we are that I cannot imagine Building 21 without those sort of formative experiences. I mean, Harvard was the formative experience for Building 21. And I'm proud to be the first Native American woman in history to win a statewide election. When I first stepped into this role as State Superintendent of Public Instruction, I looked around and saw our data. We had about 2,000 students dropping out of school every year. That number is larger than some of our, our smallest towns in this state, and so I knew that we had to do something. And that is the power of Graduation Matters Montana. That is the power of public schools working together with students, families, and communities. Knowing that every student you help to get their diploma they have had their lives changed for the better. At the Harvard Graduate School of Education, I did learn that my voice was important and, and I had to be at the table and give people my experience and tell them my story and what education meant to me. My parents told me that education was the path to success. And they showed me by taking me to Head Start in Billings, Montana, while they were pursuing their own college degrees. I think those lessons of, of just my own empowerment being able to engage with people who were different from me really taught me a lot about how I should continue my work. You know, I, I do truly believe that education still is the great equalizer in this country and everything that we do should really benefit what happens at the classroom and engage those students so that they have aspirations for their future as well. My name is Mong Neo, and I am from Chittagong Hill Tracks of Bangladesh. I went to visit home. On my way to the temple, I saw many children are breaking bricks on the side of the road. And I asked one child, what is his name? He said his name is Ong Si. I asked how many years old? He said he was seven. And I said, he, if he goes to school, he shook his head no. When I asked villager around, I found out that he is an orphan child. He works only for 25 cents a day. Instead of carrying books, he breaks bricks. This is injustice. The children of Chitong Hiltrex are the most illiterate and at the highest risk of dropping out from school in all Bangladesh. So we started our oral history project to provide culturally relevant curriculum in the languages the children speak. We work with the communities and we started a school for orphan children. First year, we had only 12 children. Year after, we had 28 children. Today, we have over 625 children in three different schools. When I met Ong Si, he was breaking bricks on the side of the road. When we first opened the school, Ong Si was one of the first 12 children and I'm immensely proud to share Ong Si completed fifth grade education and going to the sixth grade. When I asked him what he want to be in future, he said he want to be a teacher. Teachers are important. 
because they inspire students to dream big and have the courage to pursue their dreams. Children like Angsi, when they become teachers, they can help empower the community and bring hope to many more children like him and give voice to many children who otherwise have no voice. When I came to Harvard Graduate School of Education, I was amazed by the incredible opportunity that is being offered by the faculty and also learning from my fellow classmates. I had tried my best to extend educational opportunities in remote corners of the world. Harvard Graduate School of Education gave me that opportunity and it is up to me now to turn that opportunity into reality.